so for the number talk today is another subtraction problem. We're trying to work on subtraction right now. Um, if you have eight cookies and you take away five of them or eat five of them, how many are you going to have left? I want you to go ahead and pause the video and try to figure it out on your own before I tell you the answer. Okay, welcome back. All right, so something that you could have done. Let's start with something different today because we've been starting with your fingers. So this time maybe we'll start with the number line, okay? Um, if you start at eight on the number line and you count backwards, backwards because we're subtracting five times. You go one, two, three, four, five. What number did we land on? Three. And so three is the correct answer. If you did not get three, just make sure you're paying attention to this part of it. It's okay if you didn't get the right answer. I just want you to make sure that you understand where you made a mistake and try to figure it out, okay? Because that's how we learn. Okay, um, so eight cookies. Let's make eight cookies on a 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna put my fingers up. I'm gonna put up eight fingers. I don't have to count my fingers to know what eight fingers are. It's five and three more, that's eight, okay? Now, I want you to notice something. The 10 frame and my fingers, five is the top row. Three more are these fingers. So this is like a hand. This is your whole top hand, and this is your bottom hand. So if you have the number eight, this is what it looks like on your fingers, and this is what it looks like on the 10 frame. And when you eat five of them, Instead of sitting there and counting out five, don't we already know that this is five? So if we're gonna eat five of them, aren't we just gonna eat all of those? And how many are left? Three. So it's same thing on here. If we just say, well, we're gonna take away five now, we've just taken away the whole top row. So taking away these five, would leave us with three. If you have eight and you subtract five, which is the whole top row, you have three left, okay? Um, and I just showed you the fingers, so now I want to show you a number bond. Eight is the whole. The two parts are five, and if five plus what number? Three is gonna make eight. So if you had five fingers up, how many more would you need to make eight? Three more. Or if you had three fingers, how many more would you need? Five more, okay? So this, you can use addition in order to solve the subtraction problem as well. 